So following on from our video of TLC for disc brakes, we had loads of requests for TLC for rim brakes. And who am I to let you down? So here are seven tips for you so that your brakes slow you down and don't let you down. So checking out your pads will help you before it's too late. Uh, brake pads can actually wear out at an alarmingly fast rate, particularly in bad weather. So firstly, let's actually check to see how much life you've got left in them. Now some brake pads, they're really great because they have little indicators on them that tell you when to replace them. Uh, however, some don't. A little rule of thumb is anything less than one and a half millimeters of brake compound remaining, then it's time to replace them. So have a look at the actual brake pad itself and check how they're wearing. If they're flat and even, then that's fine. If there's a groove, then they may well need to be filed down and then realigned to match the braking surface. So the problem with misaligned brake pads is that you're not actually going to be stopping to your full potential. So you're going to be braking either on the sidewall of the tyre or actually somewhere else on the rim where that hardened braking surface isn't. Uh, basically, it's dangerous and you're just not going to get the performance that you need. Now importantly when aligning the brake pads is that the front of the pad actually touches the rim half a millimetre prior to the rear. Yep, it's a small amount I know and if you can't get that level of detail spot on then don't worry, just make sure the whole pad connects at the same time. However, the big thing to avoid is that the rear touches first. So check the actual rate of wear of your pads. So have a look and see if one of them is wearing out faster than the other. Just make sure that that brake is aligned centrally. So you may need to release the actual mounting bolt here and just line that up or adjust the centering screw here just to make sure that both sides are touching the rim at the same time. So let's actually take a close look now at the brake pads themselves. If you've got grooves or channels in there, really look closely and see if there's any debris or stones. If there are, pick them out because they're going to reduce your braking performance. Now these sometimes go unnoticed. Tiny little shards of metal become embedded into the compound of the brake. Again, that can reduce braking performance as well as premature rim wear. So just pick those out and make sure they're all gone. Now sometimes your brake pads can actually become shiny and when they're shiny they're not working to their full effectiveness. So what I advise, either use a file. Now if you're using a file, make sure you've not used it on metal otherwise you're going to reverse that previous step we've just covered. So you're going to be putting metal back into the pad. Not what we want to do here. So use either a file just for rubber or some sandpaper and just take off a very very thin layer of that shine off of the surface. That way your braking pads are actually going to stick better onto the rim, slowing you down faster. So now a quick check of the inner cable. Uh, make sure where it's clamped here that it's not frayed or strained at all. And then if possible, have a look inside of the lever and make sure that where that little barrel is that there's no strands of wires there that have actually come loose. If there is, then don't ride the bike. Just replace that cable as soon as possible. At the actual outer cable, Make sure that that's fine and that that protective outer casing is not split at all and there's no corrosion there. Again, if there is, replace that. Now, maybe your brakes are feeling a little bit gritty and a temporary solution, because there is no better feeling than putting on new cables, is to actually put a few drops of oil in here and letting it work its magic. But how? Well, you're going to have to turn your bike upside down to do that. Not something I normally approve of. But yep, just simply put a few drops of oil in there, Teflon based preferably, and let gravity work its magic and it will coat that cable. However, most modern cables are already coated in Teflon. So both the inner as well as the inside liner of the outer cable. So if that's the case with you, simply bite the bullet, put some new cables on. Well, I hope these little bits of love for rim brakes have helped you out. And also I wanna know how you love your rim brakes down there in the comments. And also remember to like and share this video with your friends. And if you're still using rim brakes after all of this, click down here to see how to look after disc brakes. Maybe you'll make the change.